Honorable Speaker, sir. So through you, I would like to ask the Finance Minister, is that what is the financial financial allocation made for setting up or starting this new 21 medical colleges, sir? And also, what is the expenditure incurred for starting this 21 medical colleges, sir? And also, sir, the third question I would like to ask is, what would be the additional financial burden on the Department of Health and Medical Education because of this new 21 medical colleges, sir? Sir, I would also like to know from Honorable Finance Minister yesterday also I, ha I had asked the same question, sir. What is the estimated amount for starting a new medical college and a hospital. What would be the total expenditure for salaries of teaching and non-teaching staff in this 21 medical colleges? And lastly, sir, I would also like to know okay, what would be the total amount that would be incurred paying as a stipend to the undergraduates and postgraduates and also what would be the amount, total amount incurred for the SRs. And I would, lastly, I would like to know, sir, from Honorable Finance Minister Saab is that, please let this house know as to what is, what is the amount that the government spends on making one doctor and what is the amount that government spends in making one postgraduate? And what is the amount that government spends in making one super speciality? And also, sir, I would like to bring to your kind notice, sir. Sir, for, right from the year 21, for the year 21, 22, 22, 23, sir, the scholarship has not been paid to the medical colleges. When would this be paid, sir? The postgraduate students took an admission in 20 and they have completed their postgraduate studies and still the fees is due to the colleges. Yesterday, Honorable Minister Saab was saying that we are paying the salaries only one year, but here, sir, from last three years, it has not been paid. I can give an example of my own medical college. Six crores of rupees are due to Deccan College of Medical Sciences for the year 2021, 20, 21, 22, 22, and 23, sir, also for the postgraduate also, sir. I hope that Honorable Minister Saab would give me a specific reply for the questions raised, sir. Akbar Bhai ne itna puchha, ye to short discussion mein convert kar dijiye, mai ek aadha ghanta prepare hoke jawab de sakta hu. You know, sir, this is a question hour, but still I'll try my best to answer all his questions. Honorable Speaker, sir, through you, I would like to once again ask the Honorable Minister Saab out of the questions which I have asked. Only one question was answered. The rest of the questions haven't been answered. Sir, we are starting a new medical college, so we have to have the financial allocation for the colleges. And at the same time, sir, anyway, Honorable Minister Saab had said he will send me the reply. I thank him that he would send me the reply. But at the same time, sir, yesterday also I have raised a very important issue. That issue is pertaining to the A category of non-minority colleges. And minority colleges have A category of 50%, non-minority has 60%. So, sir, so, uh, 50%, sir, and uh, uh, minority has 50%, sir. Now, now the, the question is that, sir, कि आप ये जो नॉन माइनॉरिटीज में 50 फीसद रखे हैं और माइनॉरिटी में 60 रखे हैं उसकी वजह से the meritorious students are losing the opportunity. This has to be corrected by the state government. Why that minority colleges have given 60 percent and non minorities have been given 50 percent? Sir, I am standing here and 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 I am not saying that that the 60 percent of minority should be reduced. No, sir. Minority students are getting benefited. The A category fees is 60,000, sir. Yesterday also I have told, sir, with this, more than 300 student, meritorious students will get a benefit if this is corrected. Why are we not correcting this? 
private college is a private college sir whether it is minority or non minority category distribution percentage distribution should be equal why is it not equal is my question kindly corrected sir my, uh, with this many meritorious students sir hindu students muslim students sc students st students bc students tribal students all students will get benefited if this is corrected so we should correct this honorable speaker sir through you i am requesting is that sir the seat allocation is going on the counseling is going on sir when i say that ke minority colleges have 60% of a category the fees is 60000 non minority colleges have an a category of of only only 50% here it is 60% and there it is 50% because of this sir more than 350 students will be losing an opportunity the meritorious students meritorious students belonging to hindu muslim sc st bc sir the counseling is going on i am not standing here and saying that can reduce the 60% of minority colleges no sir let it be sir but here i am saying that ke non minority colleges are having only 50% because of that 300 meritorious student will lose their seat will forfeit their seat or they will end up paying 13 lakhs or 14 lakhs per annum this is what i am saying this needs to be corrected the counseling is going on sir today the counseling is going on that is why i am saying why is the differentiation between minority and non minority why should a meritorious student end up paying lakhs why should they pay lakhs let them have the seat in thousands also that is what i am saying government is sir the government naye naye medical college la rahi sir 150 seat ek college mein hote do naye medical colleges la rahe sa aayi hai do naye medical colleges वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी के सीट के दो साथ तो प्लीज मेरी बात को समझिए इस पर आप करेक्ट करिए या तो काउंसिलिंग को स्टॉप करिए और स्टॉप द काउंसिलिंग स्टॉप द काउंसिलिंग करेक्ट दिस मिस्टेक एंड देन लेट लेट द स्टूडेंट गो ऑन द वे ऑफ काउंसिलिंग इमीडिएटली शुड स्टॉप द काउंसिलिंग द इश्यू वॉज ब्रॉट इट टू अवर नोटिस एस्टरडे नाइट ओनली बिफोर दैट वी ड नो इट वॉज देर सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम yesterday yesterday night in the discussion honorable member has told me we were in the house till night 10:30 till 10:45 in the house only again we we are here at 10 o'clock when can i address that issue sir i promise him that today itself i will conduct a meeting i will talk to the department and i'll also take the opinion of the legal department and we will try to we will try to take the uh, uh, we will try to find a solution as early as possible